One of the guys who is is colorful common sense is Ted Nugent. I flew to Phoenix. We're in Phoenix today where we're doing a show. Uh, and I landed in Phoenix. I got a note from Ted, and he said, just finished with the Secret Service. So I wrote him back and said, well, you want to be on uh, and tell the story tomorrow on the radio, and he's here now. Hi, Ted. Greetings. If uh, there's a shortage of effervescence there, it's because I've got it all this morning. Good morning, Glenn. <laughs> do you... Do you do you have like a list of these things that you start conversations with? No, or? I just got up. I'm just drinking my coffee. I just opened right. up the Great White Buffalo tour last year, so I'm completely inebriated on the greatest rhythm and blues band in the world. So you have to deal with me. Okay. <laughs> All right. So last night you were in Oklahoma, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. And you're getting ready for the concert, and here come the Men in Black, the Secret Service. Yeah. What happened? Well, I I cannot put it in more positive terms. What what a couple of professional, cordial, take care of business federal agents they were. It was a fine young black man and a fine young lady uh, from Oklahoma. We celebrated, yes, the celebration of the 237th year of the shot around the world. And we, I said a little prayer for the victims of the Oklahoma bombing years ago on on that date, and. Uh, we got down to business, and they wanted to make sure that they understood that I threatened no one's life. And we determined that shook hands, and I went and rock and rolled, and they went secret servicing. <laughs> How so, long did the whole process take? Well, you know, it could have been done in just a couple of minutes, but uh, we were there for about 40 minutes. And I just cannot emphasize... The, the professionalism the, it was it was a it was a great experience like what, we know uh, that Glenn I don't want to I I, I I admire the Secret Service I don't admire the guy down in uh, Mexico Agreed, uh, but yeah. I I admire the Secret Service and I I've always had a very high uh, image of the now Secret the best Service of the best there's no question these guys yeah. are well trained and they're very intelligent and they were taking care of business they were doing their job some maniac some brain dead lunatic fringer mouth fan said that Ted Nugent threatened the president's life. So these guys had to respond, no matter how booty that claim was. Some mouth fan. So, so this, so this complaint was sworn out by the president himself, huh? <laughs> when, well, I thought that was mouth. Anyhow, I think it was Wasserman shoots. Okay, so so can you say what happened? Can you can you ask? Can you tell us? I've never been interviewed by the Secret Service. What well, what kind of questions do they ask? Well, we just got down to the beauty of metaphors, and I think the way it scrolled across the bottom of the Fox uh, News screen last night is when I quoted that um, intelligent people don't have to have metaphors explained to them. But just for the record, I think it's on the official Secret Service record that when I say I fired a shot across the bow of the left wing, I I made sure he knew I did not own a battleship or a howitzer, and <laughs> nothing had been fired. Um, that, by the way, that's the only thing I don't own is a battleship and a howitzer. But uh, no, you're working on that, though, aren't you? I, oh, I see. It's just days <laughs> away from my Navy friends. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, the, no, it was. They had to ask uh, basic questions about what I believe and uh, what I meant, and uh, I found none of the uh, questions uh, uh, intrusive or uh, uh, you know outrageous. They're just asking such basics. And I uh, gave him the basic responses. That's great. Ted couldn't uh, have a happier ending. Couldn't have a happier ending. No, and I, once again, uh, truth and logic wins. Which, by the way, whew, that was a whew, moment. Because in this world, truth and logic, if you listen to the mainstream media or our government, it's almost like truth and logic is not only extinct but been banned. So I stand strong. But let me conclude, Ben, Glenn, by saying that I have always been a tsunami with communications, email and text and through my office. I mean forever, since the 60s when I stood up for conservation, the Second Amendment. The loonies have just bludgeoned me. But more than the loonies, for every loony attack on me, I get thousands and thousands of thank yous. And I mean from every imaginable walk of life. So the Nugent family knows that we live truth and logic and the American way, and people are celebrating it now more than ever because simple truth and logic at the NRA convention actually caused consternation and fear amongst idiots. So let the idiots overreact, and we'll continue with a wonderful quality of life. 
How do you feel about the NRA? I read a story this morning. The NRA took your your stuff off of the NRA, NRA, NRA website. What 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 message should that send? Well, I did not uh, hear that that happened, and I'm not certain that 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 wasn't a normal procedure uh, based on how they rotate information. So I'll reserve my conclusion. But uh, the NRA is the greatest family organization in the world, standing up for the right to self defense. And if you don't have the right to self defense, you don't have life itself. One other question about the, some media report, reports coming in, Ted, is uh, there's reports that you've been dropped from a concert at Fort Knox. Anything to that, or is that is that? Whoa, wait, where, did, where, did, where does all this information? I got to tell you, the minute we walked out of the meeting where we all shook hands and agreed that no one would release any information, all of a sudden there were headlines with what went down. I got to <laughs> tell you that somebody planted a bug under my skin or something because this is fascinating how this. Really, inside information gets out. But no, uh, that has not happened. Um, there's always that possibility, just like when I was supposed to perform at the request of a uh, dead Navy SEAL. I can't imagine any authority more important than a request of a dead Navy SEAL. But somehow, political correctness has put the request of a dead Navy SEAL behind someone else's desires. My brain can't even grasp that thought. Can I tell you you something? I will tell you that I have not, I've not been uh, blocked or thwarted um, many times before. I can usually find the information, but uh, the good Navy SEALs and the good people in the military won't say a word to me about any of this won't say a word to me about this isn't um, that something that breaks oh, my heart these guys are dying for the first amendment these guys are die for the constitution won't the Bill of Rights. say a word and i i'll tell you uh, uh ted um i i i gotta believe um that they all want to say something but no, sir, can't talk about that. No, sir, well, let's, cannot let's talk about that. Make sure that we respect their oath to the commander in chief. And, and whenever said- I reference the president, uh, whether I identify his violations or his uh, shortcomings, I would never, you know, denounce the president amongst military heroes because they're his boss, and I have to respect that. Yeah, no, the other way around. He's their boss, but mm-hmm. yep, um, yep. Uh, and uh, I, I agree with you. Th- they have to answer to the uh, commander in chief, and you don't yep. want anarchy. Those are the people Damn that it. occupy Wall Street. Yeah. Um, but wh- who do you suppose could have pulled that off? Because that wasn't somebody in the military. Uh, I really believe that it was the president. I believe that the president said that when he went to the memorial for these uh, heroes, that uh, Ted Nugent wouldn't be allowed in the same area. Ted, strange, strange times we live in. Really odd. Strange. Str- strange you know, times. it's so illogical, so rude. It's so. I use the word soulless. It's you really have to be soulless to make those kind of conclusions. But you look at the Wasserman Schultz attacking me, and you listen to the. I mean, just maniacs, really scary, hateful maniacs on some of these uh, networks attacking and lying about me. It's really bizarro. I mean, just bizarro. How do these people live with themselves? Ted, thanks a lot. Great, um, um, great to hear, and uh, good luck on the tour. Where are you? Where are you tonight? Yeah. Where are you tonight? Uh, tonight we're in Winnie, Texas. We're going to rock in Texas the next couple nights, then we go nonstop till hunting season. All right, man. Talk to you. All right, Godspeed. God, God bless.